Okay, baby Torrets, it's time for your reading for mid-July to August of this current year. Yay. How are y'all doing? I am exhausted. I never want to do work stuff again. <laughs> I am. I, I like slept so soundly till this morning and it was like, oh man, I could go back to sleep. I'm already awake. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a long series of events for me. It looks like you guys are waiting around for that uh, point where you can surrender something or let something go. But it's also a point where you're trying to figure out what it is you want to let go of or what you want to continue on. It's really up to you, honestly. So let's see what's going on twice. The Levis could be dealing with the Gemini, right? And a happy situation and happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. Look at that booty. Just all there. <laughs> You're trying to find some ways of filling the void with the Seven of Cups. Possibly dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, going out to offer their cups elsewhere while your back is turned? The fuck? Or maybe you're trying to fill the void while you wait to, like, get a new love. I shouldn't put that like that because then people are like, whoa, wait, what the fuck? Um, everybody's fighting. <laughs> Everybody forgot, like, why they even came to, um, go after the wand and just decided, you know what? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you either. Let's go. Bro. Who? You know? We got the Knight of Swords right here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Person wants to go in and say some shit. Talk something. Speedy, he's, um, approach. Almost hostile. About a relationship and a family situation. Someone's looking at the option when it comes to the family, but they should go up here and do some confronting, I feel like. Yeah, there's some kind of love beginning here that, uh... Someone doesn't seem like they're very keen on. Like, the Emperor's kind of snubbing his nose at it like a prick, you know? It's just like, how dare you be happy, um, without my approval or some shit. What's the vibration for y'all this time around? Trying to get out of the unstuck. Doing the unstuck. As the cure would say. Love the cure. You are doing the unstuck. Maybe I should. There. That should be better soon. Okay. That's what you're doing right now, um, Taurus. You're doing the unstuck. You're trying to get yourself out of sticky situations. Ones in particular that go through vital limbs and organs. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, there's one going through the heart, but most of the other swords aren't really going in um, any vital points. What is the lovers here? I feel like, it, like, Taurus, some of you are either confronting somebody about some infidelity shit, or you're ready to move on from somebody because you're not trying to do the infidelity shit. One of the two. Lovers right here. Um, could be you, Taurus. <laughs> you might be a little bit more demanding than you are giving. Um, you might think something is owed to you. You might be, um... Petty. Just a bit, just, uh, just to that one point. You might be bulldozing people over, um, making them realize that, like, you know, oh, you might be dealing with the Libra too. You might be doing this thinking that it's like the more f right thing to do when it comes to this relationship, like holding back or whatever. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're holding back something of value. 
either with a Libra or it is based on some form of justice that you have an idea on. When it comes to the relationship of these lovers, but it's like... They're, it's like, it's both cards, so it's like... Hmm. But let's move on to the Ten of Cups, because I'm kind of like looking at that like... 11-11? Really? Like, four times? I'm not sure what that is, actually. With the lovers showing up twice like that. Like, echoing, maybe? Like, someone's in a relationship, but they're holding out on that relationship because they're in love with a Libra and think that that's their soulmate or something. Or twin flame, or, or something. Somebody's, like, kind of in love with a Libra, I feel like. And they think that that's their person. That's what I'm getting out of it. That's kind of... I'm pretty sure that's what I'm getting. You know, passionate on the 3D, but in the 5D, it's like... That's where these two meet. Show their true loves for each other. It's like someone... Like someone it's, like, it's almost like you gotta love them as a ghost instead of like as an actual person. So let's see. Ten of Cups, right? Happy situation ship. What? Wait. Did I just say s situation ship? What the fuck is that? Is that a thing? Because, like, I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> I was trying to say relationship. Where did situation ship come from? Like, I've heard the word, but I've never used it, so. I don't know. If someone in the comments could explain to me exactly what that is, that would be awesome, but... Hmm. That was different. Um, fighting. Fighting behind all the secrets of this happiness. That could be you, Taurus, if you're female. Also, Libra or female Aries. Venus energy, right? Someone very motherly. Holding up her front while she's fighting people when it comes to the secret that, like, someone is very happy. Um. The fuck is. This is kind of weird, okay? This is, like, weird. It's like this bitch looks good despite all the arguments and shit, and someone doesn't understand that it's like. There's. So, like something behind here is like what's driving her happiness to make her more beautiful. It's like um, it's like someone's in the midst of awakening. You know the whole awakening, ascending bullshit, right? What people talk about, or whatever. Um, it's like if someone does not understand why another person who they've been trying to bicker with, and you know, get under their skin up here. Is, is still looking refreshed and beautiful and it's just because it's like there's someone else but it's like on the spiritual um, plane that comforts them not on the physical um, yeah their happiness isn't like with their insecurities like they might be insecure on the 3d but on the 5d it's like they're cool it's like there's somebody there that's always with them what a weird sense of being okay Seven of Cups. Someone's filling the void. This is like really... It's like... Wow. It's like someone's in... It's almost like someone's in love with a ghost. Really. What if you... Like, this reminds me of the song by Placebo. Um, Sleeping with Ghosts. You know, hush. It's okay. Dry your eyes. His soulmates never die. You know, it's like it, it, like that's what it kind of feels. I don't know why. It's kind of it's really romantic, but on a weird way. Okay, so it cuts right. Filling the void, starting something new. 
something new that might actually cause a lot of people not to even care about the goal and like bickering, but I think that's gonna come to an end too. Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Queen of Pentacles, being solitary. This is also the counterpart to this King of Pentacles right here, even though it's reversed. Ooh. Oh, okay, well, they're not together. <laughs> they're not together. Taurus, that's your card anyway. The, yeah, y'all aren't, you aren't with the King of Pentacles. Um, you're becoming Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so whoever you're, you're not really together with this person. But then that's also being said about, the, like, Libra, too. So. This is weird, like, because it feels familiar. But I'm not sure how. Um, um, surrendering. Giving up something. Giving up the battles, giving up the fighting. Giving up trying to take any sort of action against what comes your way like what this will give me like this will give me a chance to be alone what the fuck okay well and i can't fight this feeling anymore forgotten what i started fighting for what the okay which one is it like you're going this way with your love but you're not giving love to this entire scenario whatsoever like, not an option. Not an option. Both could be, um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Someone who is really contradicting themselves. It's like they want to give love, but then they don't. It becomes no option to them. Um, they'd rather just snoop and figure out what the hell is going on. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or they're trying to go after this Knight of Cuffs. Because they're both, like, if you look at it, it's like they're both going the same direction. Someone is spying and gathering information. And taking action. Ooh. It's like it's coming in surprising somebody with these options. I don't know if I like him. Like, he's not coming for love, because that's obvious. Like, the Knight of Cups is reversed, right? It looks like he is, but he's not. He's coming for information, and he's coming to do battle. I don't like this person. I don't, I don't like this person. This is like abuse. I don't like this person at all. I, I, I like, I, ooh, I, I really don't. Like, this fighting, all this bickering, it really doesn't do anything but causes people to ignore what the actual goal is. Based on unfairness. Um, someone thinks that this person has a chip in their pocket. They're willing to give to anybody else, but they're not willing to give to this person with the rat. Um... Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who really doesn't know what the, what, they have no idea what they're doing, so they're just sitting there kind of like, yeah, um, what did you say again? You know, just, <laughs> in the fucking days. Um, they want to come together, though, with temperance. They're being patient, but it's like, they got the fatal attraction, I'm staring at this cup. I'm going to offer you very little, because I have a grudge the whole like, they want this, but the, it's like they can't stop being angry. They can't stop being vicious or something. And they're trying to come in very fruitfully. Or, Taurus, they're looking at you like you're a peasant compared to them. Which, I wouldn't want to be with somebody. Like, like, this person looks really abusive to me. Like, I don't think I like them at all. What else with this? Someone's being decisive as this thing goes. This is on based on logic with the Queen of Swords. She's looking over all this shit like, hmm. 
Maybe I should just, yeah, maybe I should just get the fuck away from this and go to the person I dream of. Because this is starting to look like I, I never succeed with this person. I, I feel like someone keeps going back to somebody because they keep promising them love and then they turn into like a really kind of deranged person when nobody's looking. Like, you know, all that happiness is bullshit. All of it. All of it is bullshit. And now, someone's gotta look over this shit and take off, because it's like... How much longer do you have to look over something before you realize, like, you're gonna leave pretty much half-naked in some derby balloons, wandering the desert so that someone can't find your tracks as easily? Because it's really hard to follow tracks in the desert. Like, do you know how much wind whips around in the desert? A fuck ton. It's hard to see prints at all in the desert. Okay. Knight of Swords. What are you doing? You're about you're running in, you're saying something. Right? Uh not really, not really, not really. Like you wanna say something, but you're also like holding back some. Trying to be happy, I feel like, and it's not working. It's just like I am the more you hold back, the less it works. Like, you're trying to make yourself happy or look happy, but it's like, no. Could be a Leo involved, for sure, with the sun and the strength reverse. But something just isn't working here. There could have been a third party involved in the workspace. People probably not communicating with each other the way they are supposed to. Oh, coffee. So now we got the Two of Pentacles. Seriously, Taurus. I don't fucking like this person at all. Um, making options. Cause you might realize that you're in a bad relationship. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn in this. It's very unhealthy. This person demands from the other than what they give. Leave somebody feeling like they're just broke and disenfranchised and they can't do anything about it. And like, there's some sorrow that they're just overwhelmed with. I think sneaking away is your best option, Taurus, but it's really up to you. Um, you're the one who feels like you need to get out of this shit. So, take your time and figure out what it is you want to do. But I'd say definitely don't deal with this person, because I don't like this person. This person just... The, like, he, the greatest way to manipulate somebody is to make the, to make them believe that you love them. That is the greatest form of manipulation ever. If you can get someone to believe that you're in love with them, you can get them to do whatever the fuck you want. Because it's that hope, that belief, you know. Hope is the most delicious spice to add to the recipe of despair. Take it into consideration, Taurus. Um, but that was your reading for mid-July to the beginning of August. Thanks for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. I'm not taking personal readings till after the 10th. But stay tuned because I'm going to make announcements on that. You guys have a good one. Please take care. I love your face. Bye-bye.